Okay, so let's get started with our zombies. We have our polygon zombies here, and the way they're organized is, besides all these other assets, so you can see there's all these different zombie types, right? Different styles, some, there's a hot dog one, there is a fireman one, a hazmat one, etc., etc. What we want to be able to do is randomize which zombie model is being used. So what we could do is we could just drag in this first one. You could drag in any of them, to be honest, but I'm just going to drag in this first one. I'm going to place them here in the scene so we could see them. And you'll see that here in our hierarchy, the way this is laid out, if I expand this, is that first you have this thing called zombie underscore bell boy underscore male underscore zero one. And then the next item is root. And then you have all these deactivated game objects. These are all the other zombie models, grandpa, hoodie, mother, punk, riot cop, etc. So the only unique thing about this is that at the top of all these items, the zombie bellboy item is activated. So if I deactivate that, you can see nothing, but I can also turn on this grandpa. If I activate that, now it's the grandpa one. So if we wanted to cycle through these and randomly pick so we have a variety of zombies in our scene, just make sure that none of them are activated. Okay, and then I'm gonna unpack this prefab completely. I'm gonna name this game object zombie models, and then I'm gonna right click on this and create an empty parent. And this one I'll call zombie. So this is our zombie prefab here. Okay, now to select a random zombie for this, we're gonna add a component. It's gonna be Playmaker FSM. I'll call this component zombie. Let's edit it. I'm gonna dock my Playmaker window over here. Okay, now I'm gonna open the action browser and find myself a git random child. And the game object we're gonna be getting it from will be our zombie models. So what I'm gonna do is specify the game object and drag in this zombie models game object. We're gonna store that result in a new variable called random common zombie. Okay, and then we're gonna have a activate game object and it'll be activating that random common zombie. We'll turn off recursive and that should be it. So I'm just going to add a finish state by control clicking here and sending it off to the next state where nothing's happening. We'll call this first state choose random model. Okay. So now we should be able to play this. If you can see, I'll have this selected. Now I'm just going to duplicate this a couple times so we can see a nice variation. I'm going to lay these out like this. So now if I hit play, we have three random zombie models. Okay, they're not doing anything yet, but at least we have a system set up to give us a nice variation of zombies in our scene. All right, let's move on. Okay, I'm just going to delete these two. So one thing I want to count for is something strange that could happen is that if it's searching through game objects in this zombie models it might find this root game object which isn't a model of a zombie but we don't really want to mess with the hierarchy of this game object so to account for that we can have a compare game object we'll put this game object compare action before the activate and we're going to be comparing the game object random common zombie to this root game object. And if it's equal, we can have a new event called send back, or maybe try again. Okay, we're gonna click this red button to add that event. And we'll just drag it back to itself. Okay, so this arrow goes back to itself. And I'm gonna have this link start locked to left so we could see it a little more clearly. Okay, I'm even gonna link color, make it yellow. And if I select on try again and I hold control, I can use the arrow keys to move it up and down. So I'm gonna move it closer to the top just to tidy things up a little bit. So now what's gonna happen is it'll get that random child. And if it happens to be that root thing, it'll try again and it'll keep trying again until it doesn't get a root thing. And then as long as it gets one of these models, it'll continue and actually activate that game object. Okay, so that's just a little safety contingency that we have. All right, moving on.